Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Solitaire Grand Harvest on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. It packs a punch with mega performance upgrades and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Solitaire Grand Harvest and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Solitaire Grand Harvest. So without further ado, let's get to it! First of all my friends, to start we need to launch our favorite internet browser. We have here the one we prefer. Let's go to that URL I have highlighted in green color. Now, you are able to discover on the screen. You don't need to type it, because I provided a link in the description of this video and as well in the first pinned comment. We landed on this page on our own site of Usitility, at which we include an in-depth description on how you can obtain Solitaire Grand Harvest on PC. We scroll lower a tad and mouse click on the download game on PC button. Once we click on that link, we arrive here on the site of Bluestacks. No panic, it is simply the Android emulator that we are going to run to play Solitaire Grand Harvest on our PC. It is now obvious that we have some advantages of preferring this emulator. Now we are on the way to start downloading the Solitaire Grand Harvest by simply clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can see here in green color. We then click on it. And the download takes no time at all. Voila! Here is located the download. It is an executable file. What we are going to do now is to run the executable file, so we have to click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the laptop or device. We have clicked yes. I minimize the web browser to find the installation software considerably better. The installer is quite simple. It contains a couple of possibilities. Install, and setup path. I will talk about what setup path does. We just click it. And we discover that we, they got here the path where the emulator can be placed. If we plan to change this directory we have to click on the, browse, button. And now we choose another folder and set up the emulator exactly where we would like. I prefer to set it by default. Then, I click on back. And I pick install. Now, there it is. The install commences and it is going to progress along with the download of all these megabytes which are shown on the screen. After you download it, it could possibly be a bit more or less megabytes. The download speed will go at a higher speed or slower, subject to your connection and depending on the data transfer rate of the emulator web servers. Right away they're running very fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. Now, the emulator has actually been started successfully. As you can see, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar which will fill up then when it gets into the end. The emulator is going to be started for the first time. In fact the emulator is already started, there for the very first time. Before we continue, as you understand, it has made a couple of app icons right here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks icon is definitely the one we are interested in. When we want to launch Solitaire Grand Harvest on the PC, we double mouse click on this specific icon and consequently use the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let's make the next phase, which is actually a must-have, and which is to begin to browse the Google Play Store. And we'll mouse click on Play Store. As you can see the Google Play is presented. At this point we are required to log on. Now the moment we're on this page, we must absolutely perform this next step that is compulsory. So we click on, sign in. Now it announces, checking info. It could once in a while get stopped at, checking info. Additionally it isn't going to move forward. If so, you should attempt to connect to your account after a number of hours and it may very likely be fixed. 
Now we shall provide our email address and password. The email is required to be a Gmail email and its matching password. For example you can use the exact same email you use at the moment in your YouTube account. So I will type in my information and I'll revisit when I have accomplished it. That's it, information typed in. Find out Google welcoming us and presenting us their twos. We are going to approve all of them by clicking on, I agree. Next, it allow us to save to the Google Cloud. You can also keep it selected it's going to create a backup of your data on this device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, you do what you want. We mouse click on accept. Google Play is started without need to open it manually and completely on its own. To set up the video game, we are required to go to the Android emulator desktop by simply clicking this icon marked in green. Now that we are exploring the desktop of that emulator for Android, we can see that we have now there the install game button. We simply click on the button. Here we access to the game app. Let's mouse click right here on the install link that I'm displaying now in green color. And it will initiate the software installation. Presently it is going to install the game. It will take a little while or it could be extremely fast. It all is going to depend on the web connection. It has just ended installing. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this specific option I'm showing in green that allows you to launch Solitaire Grand Harvest for the first time. We are at present on the emulator desktop, and so we are on the way to click the new Solitaire Grand Harvest app icon which has been created. The Android game is started for the first time. Here we get it. I can also click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will talk about the sound level of that emulator. This is right here. We use the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This way we are not going to depend on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of the emulator. And to appreciate the experience to the maximum, we will activate the large monitor, for which we have two options. This is simply the very first one. We then click on that software icon which I am identifying in green color. And the display screen is maximized, experiencing one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. If we aspire to play the application using all the screen, we click that icon. And we would probably presently be experiencing and enjoying the gameplay in 100% screen function. To exit the 100% screen setting, push the F11 key. And we would undoubtedly currently play in standard display setting. Now I am ready to explain you the computer keys mapping and that is definitely rather interesting. This strategy we will certainly be able to utilize the game a lot more effortlessly. The first thing is to press this application icon and there you will have the ability to complete the recommended setups. Let me put the default configuration, however if you like to change it, you can do it now with no problem. As you can see, the emulator is absolutely in our own language. On occasion it occurs that your emulator is presented in the wrong language, as an example, in Japanese. And to set it up in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. And right here throughout many other configuration settings, we mouse click on the language drop down. We may very well choose the language we prefer, Italian, Chinese, etc. When the language is chosen, we could save, the emulator will restart, and the Android game, next time we run it, will as well be in the opted for language. Now, you will find another thing that we have to take into consideration, and it's that we will get a message from Gmail telling that a brand new device has been connected to our Google account. It will question us if we're the ones who have connected that electronic device. That's right, we shouldn't get worried, considering that the emulator is simulating an Google Android electronic device. And to identify which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated, we visit right here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. And we browse here to the model selection. And now we realize that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for our video user demo. I hope that you enjoyed it, specifically that you found it handy. If that's the case, give it a great like, subscribe to our channel, and any comments, questions or ideas, put them in the comment box down below. You could also comment things on my Twitch channel. I actually do live streams every now and then, you get it listed below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Just click any of those online videos that are appearing on the suggestion of videos to watch and see you in the future videos. Bye.